Let's see what we can find in our rhyming bag. Ring. Ting. Ping. Bling. Hi, I'm Rachel. You may know me as Teddy from the Mother Goose Club. And this is my rhyming champion, Olivia. Hi. <laughs> rhyming is a great way for kids to learn how to play with words and sounds. It also helps them to become better readers and talkers. We'll show you how. <laughs> this is a great rhyming game. I've just put a bunch of things in a bag. Now you can use a container, a gift bag, paper bag, or a pillowcase. Then we pull one thing out at a time and see how many words we can find that rhyme with that one thing. So for this, we take turns. I take out a sock and then she would say rock. Then I'd say clock. Then she might say block. And you go on as long as you can. Take a look. Okay, Olivia, I have a sock. What rhymes a sock? Block. Good. Mm, lock. Talk. Mock. Rock. Good. <laughs> Rhyming teaches a skill called phonemic awareness. That's when kids can tell that words are made of sounds. It may seem simple, but it is so important for growing brains to practice phonemic awareness. You and your kids can rhyme all day long. When you're tying your child's shoe, you could say, hey, what rhymes with shoe or lace? Or when you're making breakfast, you could say, what rhymes with egg or juice? Sometimes I'll be silly and say, let's leave the house, mouse, or get in the car, star. Hat. Mat. Cat. Cat in the hat. <laughs> Ring. Bling. Sing. Ting. King. King. <laughs> Rhyming is a simple and easy way to learn the sounds of language. And best of all, you don't even have to use real words. The important thing is to play with sounds and have fun. Star. Nar. Car. Wars. Yes, love it. What rhymes with bug? <laughs> so get out there and start rhyming. You can't go wrong. The sillier, the better. Help us and other Mother Goose Club families learn by sharing your rhyme ideas and activities. Just hashtag pictures and videos, Mother Goose Club, or comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to be the first to know about new videos. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Rhyming teaches phonemic awareness. Practice phonemic awareness. Oh, phonemic awareness. Doc? Tick. <laughs> it's a phenomenon that I can't say phonemic awareness. So... Don't touch the microphone with a star, okay? Hey. I put a lot. Better hey, readers. You can't pick your nose, sweet girl. <laughs> help us and other Mother Goose Club. And help us and other Mother Goose Club. And other Mother Goose Club families. Oh my gosh, y'all. Rope? Lasso. <laughs> <laughs> when you're tying your child's shoe, child's shoe. What rhymes with tickle? <laughs> tickle, pickle. <laughs> For a long time, scientists have been baffled by the smallness of the atom. Hey, I'm Jesse. I have three boys, Diego, Zion, and Kingston. I know that reading is important. That's why I encourage them to do it as much as possible. One way to do that is by placing books all over the house. I'll show you how. <laughs> I stir the water just a little for the chicken, for the chicken. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love cooking. And sometimes my boys follow me into the kitchen and sometimes they're helpful and sometimes they're not. So I gotta find ways to keep them occupied so I can cook. How do I do that? Bam, a stack of books right next to me. I get to cook dinner and I'm happy. They get to read their books and they're happy and dinner gets done. So then after the water stirs a little bit, we put it on the chicken and then we dance a little bit around the kitchen. A little bit on the kitchen. <laughs> Awesome. What about yours, Kingston? A bear. A bear? That's cool. This one's got cool colors in it. Here's the deal. 
The more kids see books, the better they feel about them. It's all about familiarity. And if you place books all around the house, they'll become familiar fast. Putting a basket of books in the bathroom is one of the best ways to squeeze in more reading time. You can even get some waterproof bath books. Show your kids that you like to pick up books wherever you are, and they'll learn to do the same. This one's a no-brainer. You gotta have books next to the bed. It makes it so much easier to grab them at bedtime. You can get fancy containers, but for me, a good old shoe box works just fine. Cause it bit my fingers so. When reading becomes a part of the routine, books become an important part of kids' lives. My kids love to wake me and my wife up super early, especially on the weekends. So we told them they had to read a book before they can come in. And that just got us 10 extra minutes of shut-eye. Don't forget to keep books in the car. It's a great way to squeeze in some extra learning, whether you're going on a long trip to grandma's house or just a quick trip to the store. Let's say I have a ton of laundry to fold. Well, I'll put a stack of books next to me, and if Diego's hanging out with me, I'll have him read a book, and when I'm done folding all this laundry, I'll sit down with him and we'll read a book together. Sometimes your kid will bring you a book at a random time. And let's face it, as parents, life gets busy. But you know, once in a while, just stop what you're doing, drop to the floor, and read with them. There you go. Books everywhere means reading everywhere, and that's a good thing. Mother Goose Club wants to know how you boost book time at your place. So share pictures and videos by hashtagging them Mother Goose Club. Prefer to type your comments? Let us know what's on your mind below. And don't forget to subscribe to be the first to hear about new videos. Until next time, keep stacking those books. See ya. And sometimes these little guys follow in here. Ugh. Books become an important part of kids' lives. Zion, you know you weren't supposed to be up here. My kids love to wake up <clears throat> Here's a secret weapon. Our kids love to wake our... We're almost there, How many times? We're gonna keep on doing this. My kids love to wake... Jeez, Louise. Until next time, keep those stack... It's this mic in front of me is making me nervous. That was a... Oh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> and until next time, it's a great, a great, or a quick grocery run to, ugh, ugh, ugh my brain just stopped. Let's do one more time. Yeah. I can't read. Just look at the pictures. Is one of the best ways to, ugh. Mother Goose Club wants to know how you boost, boost, how you boost. Wow, that's gonna be a weird one. Boost. Does that, does that sound funny or is it just me? My Latino accent's coming in really strong there. Hashtag videos and pictures. Ugh. Share pictures and videos by hashtagging Mother Goose Club. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, that's right. What sound does a pea make? What fruit is that? Pear. Pear. Do you know any other fruit that starts with pea? Pineapple. Pineapple. I love pineapple. So good. Anything else? What about a peach? <laughs> peach. Perfect. Look, another pea. You're right, that is another pea. Do you know what that says? Let's sound it out together. Pick. 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 Up. up your, your toys. toys. Yes, good job. You're so smart. Kara, let's go find some more letters. Let's go. <laughs> look, they'll send us on the snow globe. Oh, yeah. Let's look at this one. What letter is that? L. L. That's right. What sound does an L make? Oh. Oh, right. What other letters do you see on here? An O, an N, a D, an O, and an S. You are so smart, Kira. What word does that spell? London. London. <laughs> right, give me five. You are so awesome. So let's go find more letters. <laughs> w. <laughs> That's right. Can you think of some words that start with W? Water. Water. Why? Why? What else? Walrus. Walrus. What about? Whiskers. <laughs> Whiskers, that's right. You are so smart. Letters are everywhere. I know. When kids realize that letters are all over the place and not just in storybooks, they begin to understand just how important they really are. Whoa, look at all those letters. What letters do you see? I see a B. Girlfriend, what letter is this, Kara? M. What sound does an M make? Mmm. Mmm. I see a letter. This is my favorite letter. C. C. C for Carolyn. You pick a letter. K. K. K for Kira. Yeah. <laughs> what sound does the K make? K. K. Just like a C. Just like a C. Go on a letter hunt with the kids in your life and let us know how it goes by hashtagging Mother Goose Club on social media. As always, we'd love to hear from you. So type any comments into the box below. And don't forget to subscribe to be the first to hear about our new videos. Because I love ducks, <laughs> I love puppies. <laughs> Are our spoons identical? Mom is smaller than big. You're right, yours is smaller. That's a very good observation. Hi, I'm Sarah, and I have a three-year-old daughter named Rachel. Did you know that the more you talk with your kids, the easier it will be for them to read and write? One easy way to start conversations is to ask a lot of questions. I'll show you how. <laughs> you can ask your kids questions anytime, even during everyday moments like breakfast. Questions really make them think. Why is your orange juice in a smaller glass and my milk is in a big glass? That's the way we put things. That's the way we put things in there? Yeah. If, if we, can I spill out a big cup or so I need smaller cup? You need the smaller cup. That is perfect. It doesn't matter if your kids know the answers to your questions or even answer them all. Sometimes I ask questions that even I don't know the answers to. The point is, we're talking and she's thinking. Rachel, what would happen if a big dinosaur came in? and tried to eat our cereal. Chomp it all up. He would chomp it all up? Would he be able to eat out of our small bowls? 
No. Would a dinosaur need a great big bowl? He would. He would need a big bowl, wouldn't he? It doesn't matter if your questions are silly or scientific or hard. It's just great to get your child's mind to try and figure out the answers. Why do we use spoons for our cereal and not forks? What would happen if we used forks? Because it will fall off of a runny spoon. What shape is this cookie? Do you remember? Square. You're right. How many sides does a square have? Let's count them together. One. Can you count with me? Two. Mama will count. Three. Four. Asking questions is also a great way to teach your child new words. Just slip the word right into the question, then see if they can figure it out or ask you to explain. Rachel, what's your preference? Do you like oranges or bananas? I just like orange juice. You just like orange juice? Do you know what preference means? No? Preference means which one you like better. Donuts. Donuts! You like donuts better? Are donuts more nutritious than strawberries? They are. <laughs> Try asking questions at home, or in the car, or even in the grocery store, and show me how it goes. Hashtag photos, or tweet with Mother Goose Club, or tag us here on YouTube. And watch for more fun tips and activities on our other videos. See you soon, and until then, keep asking those questions. You can ask. Always <laughs> mean yucky song. The yucky song. Sometimes I don't ask. Sometimes I ask things. Sometimes I don't even know the answer. No. <laughs> it's a great way. Let. I'll show you how. Sorry. Do you like your spoon? <laughs> no. Do you? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> can you sit back in your seat for mama? I can't. I need I'm to poop. Oh, you need to go poop. Okay. <laughs> it's just great to get your mind. <laughs> and that's all I know. <laughs>
draws all the pictures and they color the pictures. That way it's really exciting to read. Do you think that you, the illustrator used crayons, markers, nah, brushes? Crayons. crayons, what do you think? I think Brushes, like paint I, brushes? I think, paint I think, brushes. I also think, um, yeah, Sharpie. Sharpie. Sharpie? Sharpie, possible, maybe Sharpie. a thin Sharpie, Sharpie. like Sharpie. around the hot dog part, yeah. but these are Can really cool, it? bright colors. Yeah, we're gonna read it together. When we talk about authors and illustrators, my kids see that they can also write and illustrate too. It's amazing how such a simple conversation may inspire them to make their own books. The great thing about book covers is you can talk about anything. When Zion only knew a few words, I'd ask him about colors, shapes, and basic objects. And while we did that, he worked on his vocabulary. You can mix it up and ask different questions depending on your child's age and their interests. Just make it fun. These are really like bright colors, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's a little bit of dark, you see? Yeah, it's got some dark blue in there, some aqua. It's like the ocean. Blue, Remember the ocean? Blue, orange, gray, green. What's gray? The net. The net's gray. That's good. Do you see some shapes in here? Oh, yes. A circle. A the, yeah, the O inside. looks like O, right. A tiny bitty circle. Yeah, it was like little circles for the eyes. Diamond and square. Yeah, and diamond square. and square. That's, I didn't even a see that. That's good. A long rectangle. A long, that's right. A long rectangle. And there you go, book covers. A great chance to get your kids excited about reading, writing, and illustrating. So make sure you take a picture or a video of you talking book covers with your kids and hashtag it Mother Goose Club. We love when you subscribe and when you comment. So show us the love and catch more tips and activities on other Show Me How videos. And hey, keep rocking that reading time. Catch you later. Three, two, one. Right on. This is a great way for something cause, there, and when. <laughs> they can illustrate and, t oh. they can tell, ah. Oh. <laughs> Reading books is, oh, that's not even the line. That's not what you told me to say. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, that's wrong. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you how. I'll show you how. Uh, you can, ah, oh, that confused me more. <laughs> this is a dad with three kids right here. After a while, I was like, dude, get off me. <laughs> we got this. Sorry, tons to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so many other. <sighs> All right, here we go. This is it, this is it. Or a video of you talking. Ah! So keep rocking that reading time. <laughs>